New Jersey, and I am a paddling ocean activist and clean water activist and nature lover and yeah. <laughs> In 2007 was when I did my first big journey and um, from Miami to Maine, about 2,000 miles. These have turned into two month long media campaigns for our ocean, our rivers, our lakes, our wild places, our land uh, to protect our water. And um, with that basic message, I've been going from Seattle to San Diego, Miami to New Orleans, uh, New York to um, Chicago, and then Chicago to uh, New Orleans. I grew up in a very conservative household and my father was all about conserving. Um, because if you want to save stuff for your future, then you need to conserve it now. And, and, and water is, is definitely something that you want to have clean for generations to come um, because there's very few people who want to live in a place with dirty water. If it weren't for the Pinelands Act, there's no doubt in my mind, we'd have rampant, out of control development uh, the way we have seen with the rest of the state. We would not have our clean water. We wouldn't have this wild special place. This is why it's so important to protect this, the land here, because it acts as a filter for what goes into the water. And if we develop it and build it up and, and continue to run pipelines through it, we're impacting the ground's ability to filter the water and we're adding contaminants to it. I love to get my kids in, in the canoe just so they, they can experience uh, the joy and the fun. And, and it is always an adventure. I mean, we took Julia once and she ended up hanging from a tree. She kind of got knocked off the canoe. <laughs> It was the funniest thing. But, you know, we see lots of wildlife. We see lots of turtles and hawks. And I love for them, I'd love for them to love what I love. We always sort of forget that there's other people behind us that are going to come along and, and also deserve to enjoy it the way we enjoy it now.